hello everyone welcome back again to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this gorgeous looking chicken tandoori these are the chicken that i'm going to be using i'm using chicken drumstick and i'm going to be showing you my ingredients i have a spoon of powdered ginger a spoon of paprika and half a spoon of powdered gummy half a spoon of oregano and that is half a spoon of onion powder turmeric you can measure according to the quantity of the chicken that you are using and i have a chili powder i'm going to be adding spoons of plain yogurt So now I'm going to be mixing everything together. Mix it very well so that everything will form a paste. So this is going to form the masala paste that I'm going to be using on the chicken. And I'm adding it to or a spoon of lemon you can add lime I added lime you can add lemon I think they are almost the same all I needed is that um, like a sour taste you know so I'm going to be adding half a spoon of Himalayan salt add to your taste if you like to eat so much of salt you can add more than that so mix everything together now I'm going to cut um, like a gap or is a space into the chicken so that the paste can get into it and um, it will have uh, it will add a flavor into the muscles of the chicken so this is what i'm going to be doing till i completely um cutting gaps into the drumstick i am using drumstick because my kids love drumstick you can use any chicken of your choice you can use the chicken thigh depends on what you like This is uh, actually my first time of doing uh, chicken tandoori because a subscriber requested for it, so I am giving it a try. I'm adding oil to the chicken so that it will help the paste, the masala paste to stick on the chicken. I think it's optional it depends on what you like so now I'm adding the masala paste into the chicken work it inside the holes or the the gap that you caught into the chicken so that the sauce can really get into into it After adding all the sauce, you can allow the chicken to stay for a couple of minutes before toasting it or before 
roasting it it depends on what you are going to be doing to it either you're roasting or you are toasting so i'm going to allow mine to sit for a couple of minutes so this is after 15 minutes i am putting it in the chicken pan because i'm going to be roasting it in the oven make sure you don't stick everything together just give a little bit of space so that they will have a, enough space to breathe now the chicken is ready i have preheated my oven at 375 degree Fahrenheit and I'm going to be roasting the chicken oh wow it is ready just look at this look at how beautiful gorgeous it is so thank you guys for watching I will appreciate if you guys hit the like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so thank you and God bless bye